So I was disassembling my record player because, well, it's only mono at the moment. And I want to check where basically if there's a shortcut. So I had at some point this in my head. It's basically the frame of the thing in it. Um, it's uh, some plywood in some vinyl or something covered. And actually also it's uh, broken here at the side. So instead of just gluing it back together, I will exchange the wooden part with real wood and then hopefully fix the record player and use it again. The frame is attached with staples but interestingly these staples uh, are not stapled directly into the wood, they are basically stapled into the frame then bent over so that you can push in the frame but you can't pull it out. Alright, so removing the back part was a bit harder, it was stapled to the back and then glued, but um, with the heat gun I could soften up the glue a little bit and then remove it without damaging this back panel here. And now to the frame. This board, um, I've no idea what it is, it's pretty heavy, so I guess it's decent wood, I don't know, maybe oak. It's totally twisted and warped. So um, I will try to get some straight pieces out of it. Alright, so I got basically my four pieces cut to size, well, nearly cut to size. The length is not right, so I looked which end has the most flaws and I will cut it off. And I have then finally the same size like this. And then I add mitres and then we can glue it up. So, basically clue up went well, but I might have made a mistake. I don't know why, but assumed that the old frame was just a square, but it isn't, as you can see here. So, I went back to my wood part and cut two more side pieces, which now have the right length here. And so now I have to destroy this frame, but well, good thing is I can now check how good the glue joint here is and then glue it back together with the new side parts. Alright, so this time the dimensions are right, basically the upper frame fits in our wood frame and now to attach the uh, bottom part of the record player 
I need to route in the groove here to accept this basically this plastic lip that you don't see it from the front. I attach the bottom with nails and then I use hard wax to close any holes in the wood. Um, I have this hard wax from a repair set for wood floors, so I have different colors and this kind of heat gun um, which melts the wax and you can quite easily put it in place and close gaps with it. So repairing the electronics of this record player was really painful. Basically I replaced the head because it was corroded but also the cables which connected um, the basic electronics to the head here were also corroded when I touched them they just 
broke and so I decided to solder replace the cables and solder the cable direct to the cable from the which comes from the record player um, but also the cables which came from the record player the isolation was really brittle so um, the, I had trouble fighting shortcuts basically I had shortcut after shortcut so I had to cut the cable back and extended it again but now everything's working and the record player plays the records in stereo again.